Today's forecast is a 100% chance of dueling with one player having a good odds of crying, man crying manly tears of sadness. With a 100% chance of MOTORCYCLES! Hey there people of the internet world, it's Kibatsu of Joy Charge Gamers, charged with joy and ready for some more dueling. Today is a little bit different though, today is not a pack opening or any of the sorts like that. Today instead, Cal and I are taking a minute to just try out some cards from structure decks and starter decks that in particular have some interesting cards to them, but for the most part, they're kind of rough to use in their own regard. So, who knows? Maybe this will work, maybe this will not but if it doesn't, you know, we can just chop it off and saying, hey, we tried, you know, we tried. But with that said, I think cal has been ready for a little while, so let's just hurry up and hop in and see what he has to say. <laughs> I completely forgot I had a lure here. Rawr. Hello. How you doing? Uh, I was hungry, but I'm like, wait, I just need to duel. I'm going to duel first, then my reward will be whatever I want to eat today. Right, okay, well, I hope that doesn't impact things too much then. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I lose, mac and cheese. If I win, steak. <laughs> you know what? That's a pretty good incentive to win. <laughs> <laughs> Stink. Heck yeah. <laughs> as much as I as much as I love mac and cheese, that is a pretty good incentive to win. I mean it's just like the wheel. You get the winner's wheel, you get a good wheel. If you lose, you still get a decent wheel, just not as good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've managed to set it up that way. Alright, so I have three decks at the moment which use starter or structure deck cards. Uh, yep, one as which do I. is a one which is a variant on like what I played yesterday, but is using uh, specifically like Synchron Explorer and a couple of other cards from that toolkit one to, to make it work. One which is the Dragoon Sea thing because you know I already had that built so it's like it's pretty it was pretty easy just to go, okay, let's add the uh, the structure deck cards that I kind of needed out of there. You know, the the Rabine and a couple of uh, unique Dragoonities which are in there. Mm. And then the other one is gonna be a surprise because I think it's kinda neat. But I I don't think it's the best one, but I think it's neat. And I kind of want to save it as a surprise here. Gotta give it a try. All right. All right, then. So, I guess yeah. we're just going to give it a try, then. Uh-huh. So, then, the both both sides here do have decks that are from structure decks, starter decks, and we're just going to give them all a try. Just, just yep. implement their cards with cards that we have and see if they can, A, work, B, not be busted, and C, if plausible, have them be permanent additions to the deck, to our collection. Yep. That is the idea. Um, I'm glad you say the incorporated with things that we already have because, uh, oh man, trying to build it out of just the deck cards would be very bad. <laughs> yeah. Because not that all of the cards in there are bad, obviously, that's why we want to test the stuff out, but oh man, there are quite a few trash cards in there too. <laughs> there are, there uh, are a couple here. <laughs> Rick! 20 months of subscription, my dude. Thank you very much. 20 months, wow. It's a long ass time, yeah. It's that's been a while. That's been a long while, jeez. Okay, so which one do we start with? You know what? I think I should start with the one that I was initially most likely to take here. Seems like the reasonable option. Uh, let me do that, and then I'll full screen so that I'm actually, yeah, on the proper thing here. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> See, this is the thing. We go in ebbs and flows in this, right? Like, I win 4 or 5 in a row, and then you steamroll me for 4 or 5 or something, and it yeah. just, you know. It's like we just have a sense of uh, who's going first or what's going to happen next. Uh, wow, oh, the link book's taking a whole minute here. Did it lock up? It's not locked up on your end, does it? is it? No, I've been able to go to main one. Well, it's locked up as in, like, it's just stuck on the first and second. Like, who's going no, first? Who's going I'm, second? I'm in game. I have my opening yeah. hand. I'm uh, on main gonna, one right now. Give it, give it a minute. It's, t it's, it's probably taking a whole minute to load here. Yeah, it's just lighting up. There That's it goes. Fine. There it goes. Okay. Uh, right. So, oh shit. <laughs> That's all I can say with this one. Um, the fuck do I do with this? This is busted. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> I. Yeah, what the hell do I do with this? Um, well, I mean, this is why I'm saying it. We're going to start with Painful Choice. 
What do I choose? I'm gonna make you choose. Haha. -ha. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <sighs> the hell do I do with this? <laughs> okay, so you'll be pleased to know there are no white stone of legends in this version because I needed the space to fit the new stuff I wanted to test. So I'm not gonna have blue eyes go into my hand at the end of this. We are gonna pitch dandelion. I'm gonna pitch sinister serpent. That that much should be pretty much without issue. I yeah. think. Lower bulb should probably go as well. That makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna don't call about hedgehog as one actually, hmm. and I guess level eater would be the fifth one. That makes the most sense here. Yeah. Uh, take level eater. Okay. So eater comes into the hand. It's interesting that you go that route with it because I would have always thought the uh, the thing to do would be avoid this happening. But uh, I can understand because level leader keeps coming back and it's really yeah. annoying in its own right. I mean, so. rather it's rather either you have two tokens out immediately or you have a chance to get one token out easily. Boom, like that. Mm. And even then, you're probably going to have graceful charity in hand and be like, oh, I'm just going to discard them anyway. Yeah, I don't have Graceful in this hand, but I don't know if it's better what I actually do have. I'm going to play Reinforcement of the Army. Warriors. Hmm. Yeah, there's a couple in here because uh, we picked up this yesterday. Ah, uh, yes. So, uh, because I think that's going to come in handy in this the particular setup. Um, yeah, look, you know what I have around at the moment? I think this is probably going to be the best way of doing it. I'm going to declare the once per dual effect of Block Bulb. I'm going to mill the card from the top of my deck, and uh, if that doesn't get crowed, it's going to get revived. Ah, it's a, not a great one to see milled, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, is that good to come yeah, back? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Right, and because that came back out of the graveyard, Doppel Warrior gets to special itself here. Does that have to go attack? No, it just special summons That's itself. Okay. So it's it's the attack. tokens, the tokens that go attack, right? Okay, so which way around is best to do this? Um, because I could sink a lot off here, and I haven't normal summoned yet, which is the other scary part of this. It's been two tokens, the special of the Glob Bulb, and the Doppel Warrior, the special of itself as well, so there's still more that can be done with it, I'm just trying to think what's the best, uh, because it's one, two, three, four, five, so I can easily get a decent thing out here and then get the two tokens for something else, which doesn't sound bad. Yeah, let's do that, I'm going to sink everything off here, so it's going to be for five. And that will be a regular old... Well, see, if I had another thing in hand, I would bring this. You know what? I'm going to bring him out anyway, even though I can't actually use it, the effect of it. Because I might as well. We're going to bring out Saber Wayne out. This is the level 5, which is in the starter deck, which I'm picking up here. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a warrior that I can summon with it. So it's just being here because I want to show it off. Um, yeah. Which I think is reasonable. So Doppel Warrior comes in, this gives us two tokens, they do need to get changed to attack. Uh, it's annoying that you don't get the option to summon in, in attack to begin with, but whatever. Uh, doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, we are going to Normal Summon Spore, which is, again, slightly disappointing that I already had this in opening hat, but it's like, whatever, who cares. Uh, we're going to sync that off with one of the level 1 tokens to get Formula Synchron in play. Uh, when I find it, there we go. Which will then draw us a card. Um, and then, yeah, I might as well just make it turn one. Who the fuck cares? We're going to go ahead, use the once per dual effect of the Spore here. And yeah, let's keep the monster in play. I'm going to banish the, the Giga Plant and bring out the level 7 Spore, as I did in yesterday's thing. Because mm -hmm. that can then sync off with the... Do the face to get the Stardust Dragon. And then the Stardust can sync with the formula to get Shooting Star. I've got Spore does that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that is both of my once per duels used at this point, but that is done. I have clicked the thing to go in turn. Yeah. There we go. It was just like, yeah, it's, I'm it's just, I was just, a while. Uh, yeah, I no, I was just reading the thing for a whole minute there. 
that's fine. I just wanted to make, make sure that it's the right. Yeah. So basically, spore. Yeah, spore absorbs the level of the thing that you banish. So initially, if I didn't mill the Giga Plant, I was gonna use it to on the glow up bulb to get a level two one out, and then I was gonna sync it with Wayne. So to go on Wayne the level two spore and the token to get the level eight. But because Giga Plant got milled, I'm like, okay, I can just do it with that, and I get to keep my 2100 dude as well. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Because that seemed a little better. All right. Well, let's activate a fossil dig. Fossil dig. Yep, that's fine. Shooting star doesn't negate basic stuff like that, so no. uh, only when it's like a destruction card. Mm -hmm. We're doing the draft format, uh, Blackluster. This is up to Storm of Ragnarok at the moment, as far as like progression series style, style stuff goes. But we're testing out some stuff from the starter deck, uh, starter and structure decks that we didn't get a chance to like actually like fully open here. So, ah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. This is the uh, this is the basic Jirak deck I made, not the not the one that was supposed to be with the starter oh, deck. Oh no! Ah, did you did you make a modified one for that? Yeah, I made a one for it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, we'll well, play this out. We'll play we this out. Though. No, we'll play this out. You want to play? We'll this play this out. out. Okay. May as well. Because, uh, I mean, again, we're here to show off the decks at this point. I'm just not going to show off my mm -hmm. deck yet, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, if you think we've got time for this, yeah, we can we can still play this out. Well, it's not, it's not a matter funny... of time, it's just a matter of just go ahead and do it, have fun. Yeah. The funny thing with this, apart from Quillbot, which I didn't actually use there, I could have special Quillbot to get something else out as well, but uh, the funny thing with that is I could have done most of this with the deck from yesterday too. I didn't have Rotor in there because I didn't have enough Doppel Warriors and other stuff to use it, but like that was basically a turn I could have played in my previous deck too. Because I could have just used Magical Android instead of Xaber Wayne here. Oh, how am I holy dumb? Uh, yeah, let's just bring you Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm just going to set one and set two. Okay. Uh, so standby phase, we are going to get the Sinister Serpent back into hand here. Uh, have you got anything for no. me? Or are we good? Right, okay. Main one it is then. I'm gonna click the button this time so I don't forget. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so this time we are going to have Graceful Charity off the top. This time? So, yeah, this time we've got it. So one, two, and three. Discard Serpent and Level Eater seems like the obvious thing here. Of course, the two uh, perfect discards. <laughs> and what did yep, I, and what yep. I say? Graceful Charity, yep. Eventually, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of kind of works out that way. We may end up having to ban this card as well at some point. I don't know. Uh, when we get enough of it, well, we kind of do have enough of a draw options in some ways, but like, yeah, it's it's kind of gross. Uh, okay, looking through and seeing exactly what I want to do with this stuff here. Uh... Okay, this should be pretty all right. We're going to normal summon Junk Synchron. Junk Synchron. And yep. trigger the effect. So it's a level two or lower monster out of the graveyard in defense with its effects negated. But as we know with the way the way this one yep. looks, it activates in the graveyard. So I would still get the stuff uh, off of that. Yep. Uh, the tokens if I need to. Those tokens might actually not be that great here though, because I don't have a follow up synchro play since I've used my once per duels already. Um, I am actually going to use the effect of Quillbot Hedgehog this time as well, so that's going to come out on the field as well as the, the double here. Um, again, assuming it yeah. didn't get crowed. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, and then we're going to sync for seven with these. Uh, oh no, that goes yeah. banished. Uh, I knew that as well and I was like, I had it in the back of my mind and I just like didn't do it properly. Uh, Alright, so for 7, I mean, I can't unfortunately go Nitro Warrior because that needs the Nitro Synchron, so I think we are just going to have to put uh, 
don't want to put it in. No, I don't want to put it in defense. That's baby stuff right now. We put uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon out. Yeah, that's baby stuff. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's like, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> you know? Um, how many tuna? I've gone through quite a few, right? One, two, three. Uh, that is a little bit rich. I'm going to put them back in the debt first part of Avarice. Hmm. <laughs> how well that works out. <laughs> I know, right? So we're going to put back the, the bulb, the, um... Yeah, honestly, uh, Dandelion well, should probably go back as well. Will the bulb the still be one... Actually, no, you wouldn't activate that one. It's still once per duel, yeah. So I can't revive it again, even if it goes graveyard at this point. Uh, we're going to put Junk Synchron. The Stardust can go back to extra deck, because I might need that at some point soon. Um, kind of want to put Formula back in the extra deck as well. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll put Formula back in too. Because uh, I only have one copy of it, so I might need it later on. And then we will draw two. Okay. Um. Right. Well, I didn't draw a tuna, so fuck it. Go big or go home. We're gonna use the effect of the dragon here. <laughs> so easiest way of doing this is to mill five, and we'll see it that way. Uh, that is two. At least so... two. Two attacks this turn with this with the shooting star. That seems pretty good. Uh, so back in we go. Let's quick draw. Doppel. Junk is the second tuner. TT and the lone fire goes back in. Shuffle that up. Um, all right. Yeah, that should be pretty all right then. Let's see. Let me just double check damage stuff here. I should do this in grave as well. Uh, so if I have one hit of this, it's 33, 54, yeah, it's not quite enough. So we're going to have to try and hit him with the 21 here. Okay, and this thing returns to hand if something attacks it. Okay, so the, the Wayne will go back to the extra deck then. I'll go back to the extra deck, but it won't gain its defense. It's just destroyed flat out. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, they are near to the being that, yep. and yeah, we'll we'll hit with the with the stuff and go from there. Yeah, painful choice is disgusting in this deck. That's the thing. Like if I said, as I've said, if there's a deck that's gonna get painful choice banned, it's gonna be this. Like, <laughs> and you know, the funny thing is, I wouldn't even necessarily mind that either because it is a, it is incredibly mean if you just open that. It's like, well, the fuck am I supposed to have done? You know. <laughs> Because there were just so many, so many effects coming off yeah. of that. Yeah, I just realized I didn't even get the the uh, count the tokens out for Doppel Warrior because I forgot to do that as well. Whoops. <laughs> that would have been another 800 damage on the board, I suppose. But whoop de do. But it's like, oops, I forgot to uh, forgot to get the tokens uh, out. <laughs> oh no! Whatever will we do? Yeah, I mean, it is it is actually optional. So technically, it's like that wasn't illegal as a play. No. It was just like I forgot to do it. So. I didn't realize it was optional, but, you know. Well, at least it's being optional, you didn't break any rules at least, so the duel is still... Mm -hmm. ...moderate. Alright, well, let's normal summon you and set that down. It destroys one by battle. Okay, that's the, the searching one. Cool. Ah. Hmm. Could be better, is all I'm gonna say. Go <laughs> could ahead. Could be better. Could be better, could be worse. It could be worse. I could not have a monster to play. Uh, so at least there's that going for me. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna have to go big at this point. 
Oh, that's a pretty good one to take, too. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, the tuner. This card can be destroyed yep. by the battle. <laughs> During each of your opponent's number phase, you take a thousand damage. Face of defense position. Yeah, so the idea is it wasn't going to still be in defense position yeah. when it came to your turn, because uh, I'd have synced it uh -huh. off, but... Yeah, this is this is gonna hurt. <laughs> and that's the thing with with a deck like this, right? These are these are combo oriented decks. If you don't get like you know a starter card for it, then it generally is gonna suffer a lot. Uh, that is just the nature of the game in general. Yeah. You know. All right. Um. Oh, that not, not be a good option there. There was something else I could have done last turn, but I think it was better just trying to play the uh, play the safety game there. But uh, yeah. I don't know if this is this might just be the the mega level punish that's gonna rack yeah. me for it. Well, but... let's see if this works. All right, I'm gonna activate right. fossil dig. Fossil dig. Yep. I think there's a level 6 Jurak actually in the Hidden Arsenal 4, which is interesting. It just made me think of it, considering that card gets level 6s as well, yeah. and it's not or up to level 6, so it's yeah, like, yeah, the, lower, um, yeah, so I can choose like any one of these here. But I think I'm going to choose Terra. Terra, okay. So then to Brave. Well, normal summon Terra. Yep. Flip summon Saber. And then these will sink yep. to five. Oh, it is level three, isn't yep. it? Yeah, okay. Yep. Thankfully, he's, thankfully he's still in here. <laughs> yes. All right, so battle phase, they'll both attack. Yep, and I will take 3,900 in total. Sadly, Jorak doesn't activate since he didn't destroy an opponent's monster. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't going to activate anyway. That was the reason I set Pashol. I was like, okay, at least he can't kill the thing in battle here to uh, to set us up. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is, this is very weird right now. Um, huh, what the hell do we do with this? Okay, I think I've got to do it. We're going to play one for one. Yep. I'm going to pitch the uh, Synchron Explorer and get... Ah, oh, get what is the question? Synchron Explorer, that's a different one. Yeah, that's from the starter deck itself. Mm -hmm. The idea is that Synchron Explorer, if you normal summon it, can res the quick draw, and then I can go into Nitro Warrior with hmm. that. I see. It's also a machine which works with Road Warrior to special it from the from the deck is the other mm -hmm. idea. So it has its synergy points in here, just uh Oh god, this is actually kinda bad. I don't know what to really do with it here. <laughs> um Okay, let's grab Tree Bone Frog. Bongo. I think is going to be the, the best bet here. Uh, because the normal summon I have for turn is Debris Dragon. So we're going to use Debris because this uh, Synchron has zero mm -hmm. attack. We're going to use Debris Dragon's effect. We're going to bring this out. Uh, and then I'm going to sync with all of them for seven. I think this is probably the only play I've really got here. First six. time it's actually coming out, we're going to special summon Black Rose Dragon. Oh, when it's summoned, just... You can destroy all cards uh, in the field. Yeah, which I am going to choose to do. It doesn't destroy itself, though, does it? It mm. does. That's why I've not brought it out before now, because it's... Uh, this is pretty much the only play I'm going to have this turn, but uh, at the very least, it does... Uh, all cards, give all me, cards. So give me some time, potentially. Too. Yeah, so it does kill your back row as well, yeah. Uh, right, well... Yeah, there's a good reason I've not brought this out before now, because it's been very difficult to find a place for it, because most of the time I'm either, like, on a neutral board or I'm ahead, and I don't want to put it out when I'm ahead, right? Yeah, so, fair enough. 
but this this was a bit of a desperate spot. I'm like, I don't have a better choice here. Yeah. I've kind of just got to got yeah, to flow with fair. this. All right. Well, let's normal summon Iguanon. Yep. So battle phase, he'll attack directly. Yep. I will take seventeen. And this is why it's like mm, this is getting sketchy, but one. okay. So, standby phase, I do at least get the Fargo back into place, so that yep. is good. Uh, uh, anything no. for me? Okay. I've got four cards yeah. in hand, so I yeah. did need to, to double check. Okay, sometimes it is an MST, we're gonna dust that back row. Oh. Okay, I seem to have a pretty good inkling of when you've got that on there before stabbing these things. You just have, so, you're not, not even a good inkling, you just out. have that card ready for when you need to summon it. When did you use it? Yeah, right? yeah. Alright, Lone Fire. Go on. Lone Fire is going to trigger here, we're going to send it into the grave. I am going to first off get the other Lone Fire out of the deck, because I'm also, it's not, it's a soft <laughs> once per ten. I want this in the grave for for the other reasons later on. Gonna pitch that to put Spore in play. And I am kind of realizing the problem with this play as we go, but uh, there isn't really much of a bet. No, there is a better one. Uh, well, I've made it. I mean, now, if, you so wanna, if you want to take uh, it back. The better one. You know. The better one is, I, I've just realized Formula Synchron is also a tuna. I was going to bring this thing back and like go for a level 6, but I can't do that because I have two tunas mm -hmm. in play. Uh, the better option here is to go Giga Plant because that can at least actually, you know, clear the board mm -hmm. up. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a way that I could salvage it anyway, though. I did normal summon this turn, so probably not, but... Um... Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sync off anyway. We're gonna. We're just gonna go for it. Uh, we'll get the formula synchron out because that at least draws yep. a card. See what we can do with that. Um. How many have we got? Enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's enough in here. Okay, so then we're gonna play Avarice. <laughs> going to put back the one this is why i wanted to get the other lone fire out because i can now i'd still have one to, uh, to get rid of the spore so so it's one two black rose is three synchron is four debris dragon is five so we'll shuffle that up and draw the two yeah see that doesn't help either <laughs> <laughs> the idea was good, but that doesn't actually do much for us either. Okay, we're gonna just set one and... Oh, uh, I mean, that's kind of a rough idea when this thing can just pitch it, but whatever. We're gonna end at that. So yeah, I, ma I made the mistake of it. I should have blown fired for the... Uh... For mm -hmm. the Giga Plant, but it's fine. Oh, well, all right. Well, straight to battle phase. He'll attack Synchron. Yeah, that's that's the right way around for it because this pops. Yeah. Oh, returns it to yeah, the hand. Doesn't. Hand. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I didn't have a response to the attack, so. Okay. Jesus Christ! Can we get something to do? Oh yeah, I should get the tree bomb back, shouldn't I? I mean, you can still do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I should do that. Let's not be a bad player, Cal, because that actually matters here, because I do have Debris Dragon. Debris! So, and that can bring back the Lone Fire, which I didn't banish yet, because, you know, I stooped last turn. So, uh, yeah, we can bring Lone Fire and sink all three of them for eight. Eight Dragons specifically, but, you know, that's, they're the yeah. best ones anyway. So we'll get Stardust out with that. Um... Since I know the thing afterwards, we're just going to set, and we're going to hit them. It all happened at once, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh right, because yeah. lag and stuff off it, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to activate this then. 
Um, uh, yeah, and no, I am gonna have to tribute to Thingy in here. Um, sucks because there's a potential direct attack coming in after that, but uh, well, direct attack with any monster. Okay, what is your target? <laughs> Good question. Hmm. <laughs> Good question as always. Hmm. I think it's actually going to be my Ally Justice card. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have anything that immediately outs that. That does make sense, and I think I need to Tarantula against it, because I don't have an out to it in my, uh, in my <laughs> setup. Back right from now. the grave! Oh, because, it's gone. <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> back from the grave to get washed back yep. into it. Uh... Yeah, no, I think I needed to do that because I don't have an out and I don't in, yeah, on the board see, right now, now. see, if I revise Stardust Dragon, I think I could have, actually. You could have, uh, but I would have got it back afterwards with yeah. a tribute thing. Uh, although, I don't know if it would have let me... That's the thing I would need to find out, is like if you revive the opponent's Stardust that has used its effect, and then don't use it yourself to uh, it goes in, I don't know... I have a feeling it would like have forgotten that it had mm. been like the you know the whole like memory yeah. state of it. I I don't know a, though. That is a good question so... to bring up then, I guess. Well, in the meantime though, uh, mm. let's summon Jirak Bello. Yeah, I figured, I figured, but I was also like, I can't take the risk that you just don't have something. Which seems um, to happen a lot. Yeah, but... I'm gonna take. yeah, it's like I figured if you had something to, uh, if you had like that then whatever. Okay, so standby phase, we've got the two chains here. I'm going to bring the... Uh, wait, Stardust is mandatory, right? So I think it's got to be Tree Bone first. If this card It doesn't matter, can, really, yeah. but, you know. Uh, man, main. Well, I can... Uh, it says you can special summon this card, so it's not, so it's not uh, mandatory. Oh, okay, so they're both optional. Well, I mean, uh, fair mm. enough, so yeah. it's, it doesn't matter which way around they go. Okay, so I was tempted to play this uh, quite a while ago, but I'm not going to uh, be using it at this point, I guess. Uh, but I can't actually pitch it for Quick Draw because it's not a monster, so whatever. We're going to pitch the Sangam, we're going to get the, the Quick Draw Synchron out here. Um, oh, I guess I can pitch it for the other thing later, that's fine. Um, these two can sync off for six, we'll get the Drill Warrior. Yeah, I can just use it for that instead, that's fine. Um, and then I had my second Debris Dragon, so we'll use that on the Lone Fire. And this time, Sync for this level 7 Dragon, which is not going to be Black Rose. Uh, I could do it because it's an optional, but I'm just going to get Ancient Fairy Dragon out. Debris Dragon's pretty good in this sort of thing when you've got like Lone Fire Blossom oh, yeah. to bring it out with. It's, uh, it's quite synergistic. Alright, so this thing, when it's destroyed battle, or special summon, okay. Um, so in that case then, yeah, Stardust should probably yep. hit it first. So, special. so that goes, and then you can special summon another, another low attack one. Which I think is all of them anyway, right? They're all 1700 At or below? At this point, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Which, funny enough, I think it's going to be another Jirak Fellow. Jirak 
Do you want to put it in defense? Because it doesn't state that it has to be attack When this position. face-up attack position card, you control is destroyed by battle. So I'm going to put it in the attack position. Right. Wanted to yeah. wanted to make sure that it yeah. was uh, it was intended to be in attack mode. Yes. That way. Right. Okay. Uh, so Drill Warrior can hit that then. Because I need to have his effect go up again. That's fair. I just... I wasn't sure if it needed to be yeah. attack or defense. I didn't quite read that first bit for it. I'm not used to these things specifying that they have to be attack yeah. position for it. You know, outside of Bird of, Bird of Roses right. was the only one otherwise for that. That counts terrible. Here, but I'm going to so. choose Star, Star Rico. All right. Star Rico, I should say. So, if I killed him, he would get the tokens. I'm actually just not going to because I think you're. I mean, they're level one. No, because you could have a two tribute dude, I suppose, with that, uh, potentially, which would be a bit more difficult to deal with here than just like. I mean, Fostosaurus is a car, but that's going to run over stuff anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it because two tribute token would be like worse here, I think. Uh, we're going to pitch the last card I had in hand, which is card destruction. <laughs> this is one of the cards which is in the uh, in the thing. And I was like, I, w I so wanted to use it, but I don't think it's actually that <laughs> uh, great. That's funny. But whatever. We're, we're, taking, we're taking this out of the circulation for the turn. And uh, go ahead. This is where that Ukazi would be something to play with it. <laughs> if only. I just realized, oh shit, yeah, yeah, I'd be dead to the burn card. Yeah, to the things. burn card of all things. Yeah, if I had that burn card. That'd be hilarious, actually. <laughs> it would be so funny. Uh, but this is a good one to have as well. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Stardust. I Stardust. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. So yeah. it's actually so if you actually <laughs> had destroyed Star Rico, I would not have a monster that has five hundred attack. Yeah, so uh and the tokens are startless, so yeah, you got it. Uh because yeah, I can't survive that. That's, that's actually hilarious. Hilarious. that's still hilarious. Ah. <laughs> there uh. you go, heart of the cards. Sometimes it works. <laughs> Ah, oh, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, this kind of deck doesn't always draw, like, absolutely amazingly, as we saw of it there. Yeah, I should have summoned the Giga Plant instead of the Spore. I think I still made something okay out of that turn in the end, but, like, yeah, I should have, I should have done it that way around. But, you know, uh, even at that, I'm not entirely sure if it would have made enough of a difference there. Good, Good stuff. stuff, though. For now. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not. We're, I'm not lo lossless this time, or I'm not. Uh, um, winless this time. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a matter of the draw at this point, and we've shown at this point finally that the draws are not always the greatest of draws sometimes. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not always gonna draw like absolute god tier. Even with that massive fish deck that I showed you before, that's not always going to draw like amazingly yeah. well. Uh, it there are plenty of ways that that one can not work. Um, okay, how far do we need uh, this one? Uh, I don't know. This is kind of a weird one. Okay, I think I'm gonna normal Lone yep. Fire and sack the Lone Fire for. Honestly, probably just put Dandelion on the field, since at least that can give yep. you stuff after, and we're gonna leave it mm. that. There's more I can do, but there's not enough that I want to do. It's it a, weird a weird spot. spot. Um, right. Well, let's activate Fossil Dig. Mm-hmm. 
So even if you like change a hard disk and tribute it for something, I still get tokens. Yeah. So it's not like the end of the world. I wonder if Dark Core would be a tech card that we could put in our side decks at some point here. It's got a discard cost, which is bad, but it doesn't destroy monsters, the face-up monsters. It just banishes them. Uh, so it gets around stuff like Stardust Dragon and the likes as well, and obviously it would stop this from giving me tokens. I wonder if that's a tech card that we hmm. should look at. Maybe. Uh, hmm. Alright, I'm actually going to summon it, or I'm going to take... You. Vela. Yep. Big Fish. Call it Ganth. Super Ancient Deep Sea King Silicon. Yep. Silicon. Yep. That's the one. Um. Yeah, I don't know why it's Silicon. I've I've never actually. That's, that's like, the first time I would see an O oh, that's silent. That's, how I've that's a funny. It. That's funny to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that is pretty funny. Like, All right. Well, let's normal summon Guabia. Guaiba. Guaiba. Guaiba boy. Guaiba boy. <laughs> uh, Alright, why, yes. why my boy That's can attack awesome. the dandelion? <laughs> and yep. mine's. Uh, so I think. Both effects will trigger. Uh, yours, yeah, yours was think. mandatory. I think mine was optional. Or it... But it, don't, uh, it, yeah, it is optional. But yeah, it, it was going to happen anyway. It. Yeah. Um, Alright, then. Mm -hmm. Let's. um, Another Jurok monster. Well, I think I have to summon Brockus. When another one is placed on the field, cannot be destroyed by battle. That's pretty cool. Hey, you get two of those on the field. It is just like, <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Come on, come on. <laughs> Try, you bitch. <laughs> All right, main two. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> it is a tuner yep. as well, yeah. I think that's the only one that we have at the moment for Jurax, isn't it? They're all in Hidden yeah. Arsenal 4. I kind of like the giraffe. It's just like a really simple thing. It's just yeah. dinosaur on fire, and it kind of we'll works. Seven. And we'll summon even bigger Giganto. Whoa! Okay, so all face the dry. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so he's a each monster in the graveyard. Yeah. All right. Well, I will cool. set one. I forgot that. And and turn. All right. Gigantor. Okay, that's that's a pretty good one, though. I'm gonna normal summon oh, Debris Dragon. Yeah. Debris Dragon trigger. We're gonna get the Dandelion out of, out of the graveyard. Damn you, Debris Dragon! Yeah, and we're gonna sink for eight with the one of the tokens here, and grab ourselves out Scrap Dragon. Stardust would clash, and I don't mm -hmm. want that right now, so... Uh, Dandelion does trigger, but we're gonna get the, the two tokens out here. Just realized I should have put another thing in play from this as well, but maybe not, I don't know. Yeah. That would have probably been... Probably been excessive. I could have, but... Nah, it's not necessary here. Um, okay, Scrap Dragon is gonna trigger. I'm gonna use the one of the tokens, and I'm gonna pop the back row. Dad. Oh, Curse Seal, okay. <laughs> Dang. Um, okay, yeah, because this guy's 25, so I didn't have to run it over the effect. So we're going to hit the uh, hit the dude. <laughs> Across the board! <laughs> uh, yeah, and that will do. Ah, uh, yes, Crack Dragon, i.e. he craps on your field. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hmm. Right, I don't see any reason not to activate this then. Yep, that's fine. They all disappear. Then we'll normal summon Bellow. Battle base, uh, yep. we will attack. Yep, take the 17. Then end turn. 
Alright. See, Scrap Dragon is like the one dude in the Scrap like, lineup here that doesn't take the Scrap Tune into play, so I can actually use it properly here. Um... Ah, <sighs> uh, this hand is like one card too awkward here. Uh, gotta do it. I don't really want to do it this way, but I think I've got to do it. We're gonna reborn the uh, scrap dragon. So probably a good thing I didn't do this last turn, but I did. Uh, do I actually want to do that though? Again, I don't know. Am I going to get a better opportunity? Probably not. I'm going to special the uh, Doppel Warrior with its effect. Put stuff in the graveyard. I had that last turn, and I should have used that when I Debris Dragon, but I don't know. No, because how many tokens? Did I have two you had, tokens? You had, had two back. Two you had two I? beforehand, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, so what I should have done is I should have special the Doppel and instead of using Dandelion for the, the thing, I should have used Doppel both tokens, because he would have given me two tokens as well. And I should have done it that way. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I messed up, but it's fine. Uh, uh, I just wasn't really thinking of it that way around, but yeah, because I had this last turn and I was thinking, I should have summoned this, yeah, why didn't I, you know. Uh, it was just, yeah. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, though, I'm not going to get to use it for its actual thing here, because Scrap Dragon's going to pop it and your, no. uh, your Bella. Because <laughs> uh, I think, honestly, I don't have a better play for yeah. it here. <laughs> uh, we're going to hit for 28. And main two, we will set one and end at that. Alright, well, let's set to... Make a staircase, why not? Hmm? Okay. Ah. Okay, I am going to set one so that I can use Scrap Dragon, pop this one, and get rid of the back row. Sad day! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, oh, is it though? Yeah, no, we're 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 in now. It's probably gonna be the terror, but we're gonna hit anyway. It's, uh, it's the not Rico. the terror. It does give you tokens though. They're not dinosaur tokens, okay. but they are fire tokens. They are. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Hey, Foxy mm, Queen, how's it going? Alright, well, we can activate Fossil Pig. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying to be, like, super careful around the, uh, the nasty stuff here. Right? Can I have a Chiba Summon unless for a giraffe? I'm doing Sorry. pretty good. Hmm. Alright, well, I think... I will have to take... Brockus. Brockus, yep. So that we can normal summon. If that's the right. Right, yep. Uh, these are yep, level, level one, one. Uh, the tokens. Yeah. Okay. So they can and will sync for five. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, it's going to have to be that sore. Sure is. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's so uh, it's draft format stuff. Uh, we're all we're all the way up into Storm of Ragnarok, but we're taking a slight detour to look at some uh, 
structure deck stuff as well. Well, we didn't have a chance to, to play with. Not that you would think it from this board, Scrap Track and yeah. versus Catastor, but you know. Of all things. Alright, battle phase. Catastor will try to attack. Yeah, yep. and he uh, is. Do get I still scratched. lose my life points, though? Um, I. At the start of. Yeah, okay. you still keep your life points. You're fine. Uh, hmm? Yeah, and I do not have a non synchro Scrap Mod. In my graveyard, so I cannot yeah. use the effect of it as well. I just wanted to make yeah. sure of exactly what it did, but right. I can't get anything yeah. back because I don't have. <laughs> Which yeah. actually, that's uh, non synchro scrap, so it couldn't revive itself if there was another scrap dragon. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, there's another scrap Correct. dragon. Yes, Correct. we found more scrap dragons. <laughs> it's, like, it's a cycle that never ends. That would be pretty funny. Uh, Alright, go for it. <laughs> yeah. It would have been hilarious, actually. It's a cycle that never ends. Alright. Um, right, let's activate MST. Target. Considering you were trying to think of an option for the first card, I don't think that would be Starlight Road. And so I'm going to actually just choose that one. Mirror Force. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that's still good. All right. Uh, mm, you know what? No. Battle phase, he'll just attack. Yeah, I will take 22. No soccer at Suwama <laughs> in this, this one, so yeah, uh, that would have been, that been right. funny. Uh, thing two, I'm actually going to set and in turn. Okay. Right, I can't keep taking hits like this. We're gonna regeki. Oh, the element source, right? He gets a 2k, and there are earth monsters in here, so he will get like the effect. They get the effect of effect monsters destroyed by battle. Oh yeah, neat. All right, I did get Rodo, so we're gonna be able to to make some sort of play here. That can go for the junk synchron, actually. Because even though he looks like he should be a machine, Weirdly he's actually enough, a warrior, yeah. so... Seems good to me! We're gonna normal summon him, and she'll a level 2 out, which is obviously the Doppel. Um, Doppel's effect will activate in the graveyard, so I will yep. have the, uh, yep. you know, the, the tokens yep. here if I want. Uh, which I think I probably will in the end. Uh, we're gonna sink for 5, and we are going to get out... You know what? He works pretty good against your deck, too. I'm going to put Catastrophe. Sad face. <laughs> he, he works quite well against you as well, so... <laughs> uh, and we're going to shift these up. Um, and now, Battle Phase, everything can, so can swing. So it's a four. Yeah. And that'll be it. Jeez, that took a whole minute there. Hmm. Yeah, it's some sometimes the the delay on this thing is quite bad. So that job reveal, though, are you talking about Final Fantasy XIV, which I've yet to see any details on it? But um, I can say that most people, I can tell why people are pretty excited about that one, because that's been one they've been asking for, demanding for, for a long time, actually. Huh. Well, like it won't, it's a reveal on. of what they're gonna reveal later, but um, it's like it's uh, a trailer okay. for their yeah. expansion pack in like what October, September. Oh right, okay. he's revealed like the trailer for it. So they revealed like um, the new town they're gonna re you're gonna reveal. They're gonna reveal. They revealed the new job that you can use. November, okay. Um, they revealed some of the characters, and Neat. yeah, the the way they were talking about it was pretty interesting. Um, let's see if I can activate this. Oh, well. Uh, yep. you sure Good can. can. <laughs> Back with Daddy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right. This never is the fight that huh? never ends. So. Both of your tokens are dark, so it wouldn't actually destroy the start of the battle phase, funny enough. Correct. <sighs> so, 
Their weenie bots yeah. are going to get run over here. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a chance, and I'm going to summon Waiba. I knew yeah, it! That, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> you were out there pretty well with the Catastor Yeah, before. I really yeah, should have so, just attacked uh, the Catastor, oh, so... Man, I knew it! I wanted to take a chance at getting more monsters out, though. Because I know Change of Heart was not going to last that whole turn. Oh, well. Ah, oh, this is awkward. Um, okay, Ooh. I think I'm just gonna pass at that. Interesting. Set and pass. Okay. Oh, that's a good one to get too. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is the play. We're gonna pitch Quillbot Hedgehog to special summon Quichorsi. Yep. And cry. Um, yeah, we're going to trigger the effect of the Quill Bolt and special summon it mm -hmm. in defense. Nope. Any response? Okay. I know Torrential is the uh, is the main thing with it here, but uh, probably got a good way, to be honest, uh, because I'm not really going to have a better opportunity. Yeah, honestly, this is about as good a play as I can make right now. We're going to uh, banish and sink for seven to get Nitro Warrior. The monster by Any response? Sorry, I would play this much control. Nope. Okay. So you've gone one mirror force. You do still have a second one around. This would be be legal it hits though. So honestly, I probably don't have a better play. I mean, you've used Change of Heart, you've still got Steel. Snatch Steel would be back breaking right now. I think I've just got to do it. We've got to try and hit. So, oh, okay. What was it that you had? Yeah. Oh, so I was thinking, giant, you, so Giant Jump would have been interesting if you summoned Dandelion one, or right? your um, Double Warrior to summon two t tokens at once. Mm -hmm. So it actually would have made sense to put it in yep. here. That's why it's still a side deck. Uh huh. Yeah. The other card I had in hand, which I could have played last turn if I wanted to pitch the Quick Draw, would have been one for one. And I was thinking about it going, is there a card that I could take that would actually, like, let me do anything good here and the answer was not really um because i could have taken treeborn frog would have probably been the best one as a general survival thing but it's like what would i have really done from that position not a lot uh spore doesn't uh, spore doesn't immediately do anything it probably would have been the second best one to take because at least i could have had a level four tuna off of that um glow ball would have been interesting but probably not gonna do enough and I just, I was just like, what else can I even Man, paper get? paper choice at the bottom. So I thought, <laughs> no, I'm going to hold, hold it. Hmm. And then top door, uh, top decking the uh, the one quill bot that we have in here, it obviously helps out a lot. Uh, yeah, level either wouldn't have really done anything either. So that would have been the other option. Sinister Serpent maybe, but that just recurs itself back to the hand and I've just got rid of my quick draw that would have worked with it. Of course, my two pot cards were the bottom two of the deck. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. <laughs> the cards that you're meant to draw yeah. with are the ones that are on the bottom But it's drawn for days, uh, in that case. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, this I was mentioning at the very beginning, this wasn't a deck that I exchanged out. This actually has some cards in it that I didn't care for. Like, um... I didn't care much for Star Rico because I actually don't have any Jurok monsters that can be tribute summoned. Not oh at the moment. yeah, they can still be the as tokens, uh, but like I don't have any Jurok monsters that are strong that are level five or higher to special summon. So like, what's the point of having it out there in the first yep. place? Um, so that yeah, was so that, that was, was replaced that was by like another same, like then. Earth monster. Know. Um, originally, um. 
yeah, it was actually uh, replaced by Destroyosaurus, and having having um, yeah, oh. I went I went with a Dino de Dino Structure deck, funny enough. So it gave me um, the Jurassic World, um, some other cards here and there. Um, I would love to try it out, Ryoku. Like Ryoku would have been yeah. a fun one to try out, at least just to try and see. Um, actually, I need to take a look at the actual deck here. Freaking dinosaur deck being default. Yeah, and Graceful Charity wasn't in there either. <laughs> oh. In fact, Graceful Charity isn't even in here either. So oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, thing. yeah, yeah. So, do that right now. <laughs> but yeah, it had Destroyer Swords. Mm -hmm. It had the Black Tyranno. It had... Um... I thought it had more than that, actually. No, I guess not. Hmm. Um, it had Big Evolution Pill, which would allow me to summon a level 5 or higher dinosaur type without tributing. Um, it had two of the Starlight yep. Roads, and let's see, it's a side deck. It had the Effect Failure and DD Crow, which, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you. Main deck, main deck in Effect Veiler is totally fine, but side decking it is definitely a very strong consideration at this point because that can shut down and, a lot. And of funny stuff enough, since you're play. starting Starlight yeah. Road, I have to side deck my Mystic physical, physical Space Typhoons because I have so many other cards I want to use in here, mm -hmm. but like I can't fit Mystical Space Typhoon in here with the other cards I want to use. So, like. If uh, if it's you do have Starlight, yeah. uh, Starlight Road on the field and you're using it currently, I would have to side Mystical Space Typhoon or another card to stop it, aka Malfunction. Yeah, Malfunction would do it. Uh, I don't know. Did you open seven tools out of that no. uh, Turbo Pack yesterday? No. Okay. Yeah, I noticed it was a common in there. Oh, what did I, I, I draw? Think I got a that. That's a, um, I don't remember. Um, I think I drew. Oh, I drew a six samurais united. I know I did drew that one. Oh wow! Yes, not a super. Right yes, I drew that. That's so cool. like I had, so I have two of those Sweet. now. Okay, so that's funny. Um, excellent. I have one. So if we're gonna if we're gonna do that whole, I no, actually I have two because no. I got one from the gold series. I think. Um, yeah, so if I'm gonna try and like trade you the six Sam stuff so you can make the deck off it, then oh, you'll be able that, to get the third one that, from there. So if you've not done your yeah. trade stuff yet, hold off on that for a while. We might be yeah. able to. That to does swap remind me, actually. Do um, while I have this on stream here, uh, we made one more trade off here. Um, he, he. Okay, so to explain the situation here, that off screen here. Um, at the end of the thing, I think Cal mentioned on his stream. Cal had extra deck draw. And like he didn't find any good, yep. interesting extra extra deck cards to use, so he was. And so the only one he found out was the six samurai. So like you know, like how is he ever going to use that card? Probably not. But he probably knows that I have a card that would might be interesting to use. So in the end, we decided he would take Shien, he would trade it to me, and he would take Catastor. In as a result, that's why he has Catastor in the first place. Yeah, so now we both have one Catastor because you had two of them initially, and basically I used my I used my pull from from the wheel to get Kibakad because uh, the only other one that could have been remotely interesting was the Karakuri Synchro Monster, which would have been good if one of us fucking drew any Karakuri's last set. I'm still kind of mad about that. Like neither of us got them, and they were fucking. Yeah, commons I mean and I drew a couple of Karakuri you know? monsters, but the nothing only one we got was interesting. The spider. Nothing to really make warrant a deck. Yeah, worth. no, like, no, like I was, I was looking for the, I would have been looking for what strategist I think was the one that was in the decks that uh, was in the deck that um, uh, Chaos showed me. Um, which which one is that? Yeah, so uh, Nishipachi yeah. is the, uh, the the final bit there. It's like soldier and strategist were the two. Um, yeah, I only pulled decent. the ninja and the watchdog. Um, which the watchdog isn't bad actually. Yeah. Oh, the ninja and the watchdog from the last set, Storm of Ragnarok, actually work quite well together. But I don't think there's quite enough with just two cards to really go. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Karakuri Synchro 
monster because it needs yeah. Karakuri monsters in deck to special. When you when you synchro summon the the one that I could have taken, you special a Karakuri monster from your deck, and then once per turn, if the battle position of a Karakuri you control control changes, which is what happens when they get attacked, uh, you draw a card. So. That would have been the idea, but I would have needed Karakuri's from the previous set that we opened. What was it like? Was mm. it Duelist Revolution? No, that was before. Star Strike Blast, there we go. Um, the Soldier and the. Um, mer not the Merchant, the uh, Strategist. Which, again, neither of us fucking pulled like any of these things. So, you know. Like, I couldn't no. have even asked you. For, for stuff that way if in exchange for the six am stuff because you nope. didn't pull them either they were commons nope. and we didn't get them <laughs> and i'm still oh, mad, it's about that. mad about for sure because <laughs> it it shut down a good a cool deck idea you know <laughs> of course we both drew the clock which would yeah. be great but you know uh yeah so as as kibber said now i have catastro as well that's why i could summon it in the last game and uh Yep. That was the idea. Uh, so okay. we at least so, have time for one um, more, at least. Um, at the latest, we have an hour and a half. Alright. Right, so um, what do you I'm going to go with then? We'll try one more. Try we'll try one more um, uh, deck. Or? I have one more deck I do want to try. Okay, I'm going to hold off on the Dragoonsy one for just now then, because I, like, I do have it set up, but uh, I have one other one which uh -huh. I actually kind of want to... Uh, want to show off here this isn't one i would take i don't think but i really want to see like how a couple of these cards go because uh this one's an interesting mix for me um there weren't that like one or two of the car one or two of the things that you've uh, that you were looking at there aren't necessarily too many outright ridiculous monsters within the this thing itself but uh yeah. it melds quite well with a different play that I have, so I want to see how mm. this works. Oh no, that's... Testing oh, a new deck! Okay. Draw nothing. Have you got anything for me on... <laughs> Go figure. No, I got nothing, I got nothing. Yeah. Do you got anything for me? Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna Typhoon that. Ooh, nope. there's nothing on it to trigger! Okay. Uh, thankfully. Um, alright, so... Zombie Zombers. Master. Sombers. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing for it to actually trigger on right now, but that is fine. Uh, we're going to set one, and then battle phase hit for 18. It's like the original I argument know. of, oh, spell cards, they're a thing, yeah. Well, guess what? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, huh. I... Battle phase 18. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm just gonna end at that. I think that's I, I think I should probably just take it a bit slower at this point. <laughs> Try and make sure that I don't uh well, I'll knock the back of myself least. out. Uh that's pretty good, it is TT. Alright, let's set one more. This hand All is right. so fucking um, trash. Oh, uh, no. God. It's, I'll have to just, activate it this uh, time. Alright, we're gonna try and hit. Okay, yeah, I was thinking I was thinking there was a mirror force down, so I was like, uh, yeah. that's why I'm taking it a bit easier. Uh, okay, we're gonna set one and end at that. Well, that's an interesting card, but I can't use it now, so I'm actually going to activate one for one. Ooh, pitch your monster. Bingo! Oh yeah, there we go. Bingo monster. You know what I just realized this deck probably would work very well with that you're playing here? Because if I remember rightly, you have Wall of Illusion in here too. Um, Cyberdark Impact had a continuous spell called Degenerate Circuit. Which doesn't have an optional life point cost, yeah. so you gotta be careful of that. But any monster that would bounce to the hand gets banished instead. Mm. That could be interesting if we're if you're dedicated yeah. to that sort of thing. Um. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna make it a this, this monster. Tree ball. Actually, that oh, might have been yep. the wrong choice actually because I have background shit. 
Mm, uh, nah, do you want to take a different one? one? Antonin Knight. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I am pretty sure at least one of those cards is Torrential Tribute, but uh, I guess I'm okay with that at the moment. Um, let's play a light zombie monster down, because that doesn't sound kind of contradictory. Paladin of the oh, Cursed Dragon! I was wanting to look at that deck. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, this is the this is why I was like, I, I kind of want to take this one. It seems kind of uh, kind of alright. Um, okay, and then yeah, battle phase. We're gonna hit the tree bomb. Uh, yep. All right, stand by. Can't act, bring back tree bomb frog. So main phase. Yeah. Um, hmm. What kind of roundabout way do I want to go about this? You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do this then. Yep, that's fine. Uh, it was Spirit Reaper that I had face down. <laughs> that is definitely funny for me. Alright, I'll end it on that. Yep, it sure is. Yep. Uh, I will activate Call of the Haunted. So I'll have to bring back Pengu. Just to protect my life points a little bit. Stand by, still can't summon Treeborn. Main phase. Uh, wait, ah, uh, dang it. Oh well. Zombo. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. This will work then. So, but you can set a card for it. Because its control, because its controller sets one tra spell trap from the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well, that's a good top draw, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right, I'm gonna do it in this order, and I'm gonna activate this. Battle phase. He'll attack directly. Then main two. He'll be tributed. And turn on that. <sighs> Don't. Number dos.
One must find him in the graveyard and take one level four of the zombie monster in either graveyard. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The freaking, freaking the ghost garbage hand I've ever seen in my freaking life. Wild Tornado, Dark Hole, um, Mystical Space, no, one for one, Call of the Haunted, Mirror Force. All right. Time to make some changes here, then. Does it actually have 1400 or less attack? Oh, oh, that's the, oh, that's two kitty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, makes sense. All right. All right, let's see if this actually has a better draw for me. Hmm. Well, that's interesting at the least. Nope. Hmm. It's like I've seen it before. Hmm. All right. Well, let's activate uh, one for one. Shiny Black Sea. Yep. Yeah, with you synchro summoning, it's like, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, put a stop to that. It'll be a cheap art frog. And I'll end turn on that. Mm. 
no voice and music again. Damn it! How long? How long? Or how long that's been going on for? Uh, hmm. Only right now and a half. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, oh well. All right. Thanks for the heads up, Ronnie. Uh, I'll restart the stream then. <laughs>